Hello, so basically in this video we'll uh, make a really simple uh, wallet connect uh, using Next.js so here I just press connect the wallet because I have been already before sign in with password it went automatically and here as well some nice uh, yeah as well transition basically uh, now this uh, is actually on uh, uh, RPC platform will use it as well uh, for quite a short while but uh, it's quite a simple app and uh, have it bare bones so let's get started so we're gonna start off by actually uh, entering and VM use I think I'm gonna use 18 So we're gonna create a new next app. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go into these dogs family. <coughs> You have to as well install connect wagmi vm and uh, react query let's see how the installation is going it's installed let's install connected wagmi and vm and as well the react query yeah as well we'll have to have dot m one thing to note here, like for connect, it, you have we have to go to wallet connect, start building. Is it? Oh no, sorry, it's wallet connect cloud, not that one. Basically, you connect your wallet. And then here, for example, you can see you have the project ID and it has to be copied. And uh, that one you add in your dot and basically. So for example, actually can actually disconnect. Disconnect. Next uh, public wallet connect project ID and just paste your wallet uh, ID. I'm gonna do it on the side for now. Okay, so one part already done. Now still have to wait for uh, the package to be installed. quite a relatively big one but like I actually have to adjust to add the uh, connect it wallet here so basically we just can copy it I'm not gonna use it instantly but uh, search apple let's make a new directory components Okay, let's name it Web3 Provider. Web3 Provider DSX. This one I copy. I paste it. I will not use it for now, but here we just basically add different chains. I will want as well use 
polygon I think it's working to avalanche Here I have the polygon and avalanche. Great. Uh, here you can just name your app, description, all of that is not essential apart from uh, RPC URL for a chain, right? And for that, as I mentioned, we're gonna use Nodes. Uh, uh, you can just copy from here. You even have polygon and uh, but let's just use ethereum for now i copied it and just paste it here uh, this is like publicly available so you don't actually have to have uh, dot and And actually now this is made by Bog Network. They have as well like a different um, provider. But the ecosystem is evolving and then you can as well actually create an account and there you have like more options actually provided. It's a uh, server side. So you have to specify a uh, use client on the top. And actually as well, query connect get default. Here as well I wanna add connect kit button. It wasn't done like that in the example here, but I just wanna have it here instead because I have here is client and it's not gonna make a huge difference. So I'm just gonna still have an issue. Connect kit provided children. I can actually place it here. A button. I think I need to pass an or class. Let me try it. React nodes, but they don't have React nodes. You have this one imported. React nodes. Specify here as string. It's because I cannot find these ones. Let's just go back here. So it uh, <clears throat> it starts with layout, not app DSX anymore, you know. But then in the it's a page, it showcases everything. So let's go to page DSX.
Shall I just uh, one, two, three, three? Maybe let's keep this one. And the rest of Mambo Jumbo we delete. There is gonna be just one div and a main. This one we can delete for now. We're gonna pass in the wallet itself. We don't need image because uh, oh wait, there's some other thing I think we're missing for now. Oh yeah, we have to import the Web3 provider that we created here. It should work, but like, let's see, maybe it's just a uh, linter showcasing for now. Okay, it seems to be working fine. So, uh, children, react node. Bounty. So I don't need inter child name, but I still need children. Let's just body name, class name. Now what I'm gonna just paste this one here. Okay, seems correct. This one I'm. Um, Interclass in there. Let's just remove it for simplicity's sake. And now in the example, getting started family, we added connected button in add DSX. In our case, connected button. Connected button just decided to add directly in Web3 providers instead of layout DSX because it's a client side. For as I know, that's why it's easier to do it like that, otherwise, it's gonna be an error. Uh, uh, uh. Connected wallet. So, this is connected wallet info. Let's just copy it. Can be components, but maybe I actually let's add it. Plugins and plugins. Uh, new file connect kit DSX. Let's just paste this one here. Let's see. Because here, elsewhere, for example, here we have. Export cons, here is cons. Let's actually do it the same way to keep it consistent. Export function, let's name it as function. We don't need the arrow or this one actually. This list. Let's just rename it as uh, use wallet status. Because it's still on client side, we again have to pass in use client. Quite annoying, but uh, it is what it is. You can as well like do it on the server side, but yeah. let's just keep it simplistic to follow this guide. So now here have cons use account from Wagme. So that's gonna uh, reference on uh, the wallet is connected and so forth and get back the data. If is connected, return diff. Let's actually not return diff because we want to pass it in directly 
uh, here, right? As string. So let's just instead of that, let's return a string. Connecting mm. here. This connected. And uh, because of that, let's go back to pages here again, use client. Now we should import from the plugin here because layout, as you recall, it imports a component, this one that we created. Ah, see, now it doesn't show any issues. Probably it was like a linter thing. Anyhow, uh, here we make all the connections. We import it here. We wrap it around. Next, we go into the children. So basically, page. Uh, 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 and here I want to add, where is it, okay, wallet status, they put it connect, I think it's good, aha, uh -huh, okay, it's plugin, it's plugin. And here I just pass in let status. Okay, let's name it like that and uh, pray for the best. NPM run dev and see what it gives out. it's showcasing something let's refresh a bit because yeah here i have wallet status from the plugin now i press connect i use coinbase now it's just connecting let me just fetch my password paste unlock Continue connected here is showcase and as well connected wallet values. So disconnect and back to here. I hope you learned a ton and see you in the next one. Cheers.